Hey, Don Copeland here, and we're going to show you another way to make money with your Muto Expert Jack. Today we're going to use the 461 UF. You can do this on the 661 as well. So there's a big marketplace for model trains. And so what we've done is we've actually taken a blank train car and we've printed this Coldesi and Muto logos on both sides of it. This is a huge marketplace. Great opportunity for you to do so it's marketing to collectors of these, maybe companies want to give these out as some type of a, a, a promo or whatnot, but it's just, just a cool application for it. Minimal amount of ink on these, about 30, 35 cents a side, and you can really just jack the price of these up a lot when you're printing on them. Let me show you what we did. It's real simple. Took the car itself. This one here, as you can tell, was light blue. You can see from the ends. This one is silver, all right? And so what I've done is I've actually just taken painter's tape and I've taped it off because I want to do a little bit of a bleed over the ends and I don't want to bleed them down around the edges. So I'm taped off with painter's tape down to the edges. Not too worried about the inside here because that won't be seen, but I got it so that none of the ink will get onto the top or the sides of the car. Then on the bed, we've actually printed in a rectangle just like we do when we target anything else. It's printed this rectangle on here so I can lay the car into it. Lay the car right there. Take it back and just set our height to make sure that it's all right. All right, so we bring it up until we get a, an error state. Bring it down just a hair, just a hair more. And we're gonna be ready to print. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go over here, set up in the software. Again, the same thing we typically do with any of these we're actually going to bring the artwork in, set it on top of that rectangle that I printed on the bed, right? So that it's positioned right. And I actually oversize it by about a, a tenth of an inch all the way around so it bleeds over. All right, here you go. I'm actually printing this bi-directional. Uh, number one, the artwork is distressed looking artwork anyway, so we wouldn't notice if there's any slight uh, offset from the bi-directional, but also because there's ribs on the actual car itself. We want to make sure we got ink coming from both directions, make sure we're picking up ink all the way around instead of just in one direction. Just about done. All right, got that side printed. Going to pull it off. Yeah, that looks really cool. Nice distress. It even looks like rust on the train. You know, it would be cool to do a graffiti on one of these, like a lot of the train cars you see have graffiti on them as well. All right, flip this over here. Literally, I'm just going to send the same artwork again because the cars are going to have the same on each side. Get this started. And what I'm going to do is actually time this one so we see how long it takes to print each side. All right, it's done printing and took a little over two minutes to print. Just add about two minutes to print. So we would have, say, four minutes. You could say you're going to do 12 of these an hour if you do one-offs, but you would fill the bed with these and literally just knock them out. You probably could print 35 or 40 an hour loading the bed up with them. So we'll pull this off, and you notice, hey, I'm hitting this right now with my hand. It's dry, so you don't have to worry about wet ink. And then literally just pull off. This painter's tape's nice because it's, it's not marring. It doesn't leave anything on the surface of it. Plus, it does a good job of blank, blacking the ink. You should have to have fingernails to get it off which means I'm in trouble. There we go. So just peel this off. As you see, we don't have any bleed over into the sides or onto the top. Got a perfectly printed car. Got the other one we printed already. These had between about 28 and 35 cents worth of day. There's a little bit more on this because it's darker. But between 28 and 35 cents. So you got 35 to 40 cents max ink on each side. Great way, under a dollar to decorate them. You can add easily five to eight bucks a piece for each of these to be customized, maybe even more if they're wholly customized if you're charging them for artwork. All right, so there you have it. We, Muto Expert Jet 461 UF. As I mentioned earlier, you could do the same thing on the 661. Taking these just plain box cars, printing them full color, just a great another way you, you can jump in. Imagine at Christmas time what you could do for decorating the little Christmas trains and things that people use, do for advertising and whatnot. Great way to make money doing something pretty simple that really looks pretty cool when it's done.